and welcome to Flood of Light. So I have no idea what this game is. Literally none. I got it on pure whim. I probably should have recorded this a month ago because it came out early August. It is an indie game on the Switch. And I sort of just like the art style. Plus, it was $5. So I'm always finding little things on the switch apparently they're fairly cheap okay this is very slow movement in the guide hold y and release to absorb light hold the r What? Oh, okay. And push the right stick. Huh? Okay. Okay, do I need to start? This is very finicky. Like, super... Super finicky. So I hope there's nothing time for this because that is just wow I know vaguely that it's supposed to be a puzzle game but I have no idea 0% completion well I don't expect it to be complete what's this nothing found on the mailbox will anyone send letters to me Okay. Four. I, okay, I guess eight's the only option. And we're moving down in place. I guess that's the save icon, that's helpful. Okay, that works. This still seems very tutorial-y. Light on branches can be dragged to nearby lamps. So, that be that. Okay. I drag it to that lamp so I can then absorb it and then take it to this. Okay. A lit lamp will consume one light. Okay. Fairly simple, so far, at the very least. Okay. So if there's a light already in place, it will not move. Yeah. The basis of it is fairly simple, but it will probably get more complex. And like I said, my main concern is, oh, they're gonna do time stuff, where now you're gonna have to do everything, but you have X amount of time to do it. And with how these controls are going, that seems less fun. 
collect one wick for each wick win. Permits on the residents' evacuation 99%. Now Hope City has become a ruin. Under the extreme heavy rain, human civilization will no longer exist. The rain that take, take away everything shall the rain that take away everything shall recover the city in one day. Now while all the people in the city of the island are evacuated, Oak Lord's lot uh, for that. Do ancient documents recorded when the city is on the verge of devastation only by turning all the remaining robots and dedicating the last human of the city to the code of light can the laws of the Neverland be waken up. Anyway, I got nothing to lose, so I'll give of myself. I will give of myself and made it up of what I've done wrong in the past. Dr. S. Welcome to Hope City. Okay. So this is Hope City. I can get that much. I assume we're the person dedicated to the code of light and fixing the problem. <gasps> um... Very odd. <laughs> okay. Can I do that? Oh, like can't be transferred to the party lit lamps. That makes sense. Is that different? Like seriously, somebody tell me. I had to take the light from that one, but I still had to use two lights to pass it through. That's dumb. It should be if there's a lit lamp on the other one, I'm able to like paint it through. Oh, little robot for television. There we go. What should I do? Tell him this activate the sky pedestal over there. But it's underwater, what should I do? The machine holds our last hope. Finally, I've been waiting for so long. Can you help us? As you can see, the water's blocking the way. What are you saying? Diving into the water will activate the pedestal? Can't do it. Us robots aren't waterproof. Why don't you go try? You're human, aren't you? It says that humans are good at finding solutions. Well, I have a solution. It's that. It's almost always that. I probably don't need to even take the one from the previous level with me. But it's honestly been fairly helpful so far of, oh, now I don't have to do this part. Really incredible. The water is receding. I'm not dreaming, right? I'm kidding, of course. It's not a dream. Us robots don't dream. So you are really human. But how can there be any living human here in Hope City? Could you be our guide? The guide who brings us hope. The great guide. There are still seven locked pedestals deep beneath the flood. As soon as the pedestal you'll just activate it. According to the Revelation Codex, the knowledge cloud of all robots share. All humans have abandoned Hope City after the flood. However, there will be a guide with human appearance. He will return to the city after the flood. She will activate the eight dormant pedestals and she will save us all of us robots. Okay. 
Okay. So this is a fairly leveled base. Neat. That actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. Um. Oh, a little completion thing. I can level up. Okay, yeah, so this is the core. This is not a... I definitely want to go into the next one and see how it may get harder. But... There are definitely some... Hold to wake up the robot. Welcome to the city control center. As you can see, there's a power outage over the whole city. There's a very limited amount of light. Maybe you will be able to ro rely on these limited lights to save us robots. According to the Revolution Police, the guy with human fears will save us. Okay, so it mentioned in the previous one that it would be of human appearance. Which makes me think she's not full human, or full, or even human, potentially. It could just be a robot acting that looks human, or whatever, I assume she, based on the cover art and everything, I assume she, you now see alternative controls in the pause menu, what's the pause menu? <laughs> That's not the pause menu. <laughs> okay. Oh, there is a... Now I see why I may have issues. There is... A motion... Aspect. Controls... R1 holds the light cursor... Better way to turn off... I said that, that's not what I care about. Okay, so there's no way to turn off that motion control aspect, and that's not helpful. <gasps> not a fan of that. Okay. Okay, I'm not able to cross through there. Let me take that light back. Okay, yeah, there's definitely a little bit more complexity to this right now. Which I'm happy about. I'm absolutely happy about there being more complexity. Why did you get four? Do not take all four. That's not very nice. Boy, how do I do this? Will I be able to do it? That? Nope, too far. I think I figured it out. Now get just the one, and then throw that back. Now that that's lowered, water level, get back in here, and it should be lowered so I can cross. Yep.
Okay, just now I retrieved the drawing of the sunlight mummy list from the database. Okay. Monolith is the is a dewatering device designed based on the analysis of the moon's power. Lose a word that we learned from the mainland scientist. In the power from the plant that gathering inside some people's body. Born in life form as energy container. The Missy Island Lycoat City, Luz, did not exist ten years ago. When Luz ascended to Hope City the first time, we thought naively that it was a treasure from God, bringing a plenty of rain to the city where it had experienced a drought for a period of time. Ten years have passed, the rain season is coming. Now we have to be, up be ready for the upcoming disaster. Okay, so these sunlight monoliths are what I'm lighting right now. The ability you can choose to restart in the pause menu. Okay. this down here, from there, to there. Shit! Nope, that's not it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, good, start from here. I realized that right after I did it. Okay. Nope, that's not the right way. <laughs> So I need to power up both of those two. So I need two to get to that one and four to get three to get over to here. Definitely giving me enough to work with, but... Ooh, yes, here. So these two are big enough height that I can take them both. Nope, not that one. This one. And take it down to here. Okay, yeah, this one is challenging enough for me. Still fairly simple. Like I said, the only thing I would hate for this is time-based things. Good lord, those suck. In any game, they kind of suck. <laughs> like can only be released or absorbed completely. Not very convenient. Yep. Divide the light. Two cents. I'm like, I'm trying to... Okay, is it this? That doesn't seem... Doesn't seem like it worked. What do they mean by divide? <sighs> okay, B. 
these on the line. Back and then up here. And then okay. Over. And there and then put that. No. Cause it can't be transferred to already lit lamps. I'm missing something because it's not doing what I think it wants or believe it's supposed to do. So, Let me restart again. God, I hate the third motion. You over here, and then. That doesn't actually work, does it? There. Passing it back and forth so I can get just the amount that I need. Yeah, I did it wrong. Yeah, I did it wrong. God dang it. If I get what it wants now. This is a long and tedious process though. So I have three. I can go up through these lamps to light that one. And you take this one back. You take these two. Come back down here and light this one. Okay. That was not very clear. In a way it was, but at the same time, iffy. that one bring it down to that one what I need to do that that the one basically use what they just taught me Why am I able to walk on light? That doesn't make sense. Uh. 
of all the things in this little one shot thing so far, that makes the least amount of sense. You actually walked over the light bridge. You shouldn't be able to do that. Further confirming that this character is not human. Why would why wouldn't the revelation connect before the fact that the guy is not actually a human? It kind of did. It said it looked like a human. Or would look like a human. A guy with a human appearance. There you go. Just because it has a human appearance doesn't mean it's human. This is the second pistol. This is absolutely... I'm somewhat curious. No. It's not fantastic, it's not mind-blowing, it's cute, it's simple. As a light amount of story, a little repetitive because some of the robots are repeating some of the same lines, I'm, but I'm still a little bit in tutorial ask area, so. And I can also see, like, maybe some of those little notes and images or stuff are also coming from the developer side of it, of here's the work that they put into it. And having part of that, it's still cute, and I don't think it's not worth the five dollars I think I spent on it for the Switch version. So it's cute, it's interesting. And I have to say I think what still sticks to me and what I still like about it the most is the art. I love this style of art, especially with the trees, that little painted look to it. And that's what has me like the most in the tree. Most, that's what caught me the most, that's what still catches me the most, and I think the only thing I would really like for it to have is an option to turn off motion controls, because I'm using a gamepad, not using motion controls, I'm just using my gamepad, but it has that motion control aspect to it, which can sort of screw up, and I noticed that with other games, where if I'm using that and the motion controls are on, it's conflicting because my right stick, if I'm moving at all, the right stick and the motion controls are moving at the same time and throwing each other off. So that's the only thing I would like for this game to either update itself to have, if not, if at all. And but yeah, otherwise, cute, nice game, cheap, easy so far. I uh, thanks for watching.